You may have asked yourself, what should I do with my life? What is my passion? Or what is my life purpose? It can be hard to answer these questions when life seems so conflicted and chaotic. According to New York Times, only about 25% of American adults have a clear sense of purpose and 40% either remain neutral or they don't know. I also had this experience all the time throughout my teenage years. I used to think the purpose of life is just to get through life going to school, graduating, get a nice paying job, married, and that's pretty much it. I thought once I selected a career, life would be all set and defined. In fact, I was so lost and desperate that I even bought a book on all the college majors in order to figure out who I wanted to be and what I wanted to do, wasting my 200 bucks. But I've come to realize that life is so much more than that. Why find your life's purpose? Well, finding your life's purpose can lead to a happier, healthier, and better life. Meaningful goals from purpose can help inspire and change the lives of others. You can start by asking the right questions for yourself through self-awareness. If you face a similar sense of confusion about your life's purpose as I had before, and like most Americans, then here are 15 tips to finding your purpose in life. Number one, donate your time, money, or talent. Helping others and altruistic behaviors can assist you in finding your purpose. According to Florida State University and Stanford researchers, happiness is tied to being a giver rather than a taker. I personally always had a strong moral obligation towards the elderly. After volunteering in a nursing home, I knew I wanted to dedicate my career to always helping the elderly. That's when I realized that when you give and help others, you tend to feel more fulfilled and happier. So ask yourself, who do I want to help? Number two, get out of your personal bubble. We all have a fear of discomfort. Acknowledge that you are in your bubble and stop seeing yourself as the center of the universe. Expand your mind and heart and see the bigger picture and see what others are feeling. Wish others well not to suffer and see how you can help them. Being painfully shy, I hated socializing with others, especially in large groups. So it was initially torturous for me to start working in the healthcare profession. It required me to constantly communicate with others, but I'm glad I sucked up my feelings and got out of my comfort zone in order to fulfill my duties. So ask yourself, what can I do to get out of my bubble or step out of my comfort zone? Number three, cultivate gratitude. Count your blessings. Try to write letters of gratitude. Gratitude strengthens relationships, which is tied to purpose. Set aside 30 minutes to make a list of all your greatest joys in life. I love to write three things I'm grateful for every day. It really makes me notice and appreciate the little things in life. So ask yourself, what are things that I'm grateful for each day? Number four, listen to feedback from other people. Ask others what reminds them of you or what they think of you. Know or write down their compliments or observations of you. Look for any patterns on what they say. For example, my family, friends, and colleagues would tell me I'm creative, mature, hardworking, helpful, and a great listener. It was interesting to be able to detect a pattern of what others think of me. It made me more aware of both my strengths and weaknesses and how it ties to what I want to pursue as well. Ask yourself, what do others say or think about me? Are there any patterns? Number five, surround yourself with positive people. The type of people you spend with reflects upon you. Try to surround yourself with positive people for inspiration rather than negative people who can drag you down. Years ago, I came to realize that some of the people I was spending time with did not share the same energy, vision, interest, and ambition I had. That's why I make it a priority to spend more time with others where we can help each other grow. So ask yourself, am I happy with the people I currently spend time with? If not, how can I find more positive people? Number six, talk to new people. Talk to others about what organization they are in and ask what they like to do for fun. Talking to people outside of your social circle can provide new opportunities you weren't aware of. I joined volunteer group and I found myself learning a lot from people from different backgrounds. So ask yourself, who are some of the new people that I can connect and reach out to? Number seven, find and build a community. Most people find purpose in family and a sense of community. Community itself can be linked to identity. So ask yourself these questions. What do I have in common with them? What are they trying to be? What impact do I see them having on the world? 
Is that impact a positive one? Can I join with them in making that impact? Number eight, explore your interest, what you love to do, and what comes easy to you. Find out what energizes you. Pay attention to the types of posts or discussions you have on social media. Consider the type of conversations you are interested in. Consider the skills, talents, and passions that are meaningful to you. I've always loved writing, reading, and video production, and I found a new passion in self-improvement. That's why I've combined these passions to create this YouTube channel and my blog. It's meaningful to me to be able to help share valuable content in a simplified manner to hopefully help others with self-improvement as well. So ask yourself, what do I love to do, and what comes easily to me? Number nine, do a passion test. Start with the statement. When my life is ideal, I am blank, and fill in the blank for yourself until you reach 15 statements. Rank the statements in order of importance until you reach your top five. You can create an action plan based on those top five statements. So ask yourself, what are the top five statements of "When my life is ideal, I am"? Number ten, identify injustice that bothers you. Think of what makes you unhappy about the world, which you would be able to commit to assisting in a cause. Identify any adversity which you can turn into healing others. I hate seeing others suffer from physical pain, especially the elderly. I saw this with my own grandma, and I never wish for that upon anyone else. That's why I find extreme fulfillment in becoming a physical therapist. So ask yourself. What pain or injustice or unhappiness have I witnessed that I just can't live with? Is there anything that touches me so deeply that it drives me? Number eleven, read. Find books that matter to you. Reading can allow people to see the lives of others and imagine themselves in that position. I find that reading stories about other successful people and personal development books can be very motivating and inspiring. So ask yourself. What books can I read that will bring more meaning and value to my life? Number twelve, tell your story. In a 2008 study, people with purpose told their story based on change and growth. For instance, I'm sharing my story now each time I upload a new video. It's very powerful as I get to share my growth and also reflect back on me too. So ask yourself, what obstacles have I encountered? What strengths help me to overcome them? How did my strengths help make life better for others? Number thirteen, ask yourself what qualities you enjoy expressing the most in the world. Create a life purpose statement or vision board to describe your perfect world and your ideal self. Imagine you are doing, being, and having everything you want. The qualities I imagine for myself are of me being compassionate, patient, confident, resilient, and humble. So ask yourself. What are two qualities I most enjoy expressing in the world, and what are two ways I most enjoy expressing these qualities? Number fourteen, take time for yourself. Take care of your mind, body, and needs before serving others. Remember to never neglect all the foundations of health, such as getting enough exercise, fluids, and eating a healthy diet of fruits and vegetables. So ask yourself, what areas of my life do I need to take care of? Number fifteen, align your goals with your passion. Organize your activities around your passion. If an activity doesn't fit with the purpose, then don't work on it. For example, my purpose is to always help and serve others with my passion, interests, and skills. The activities that align with my purpose are blogging, video editing, studying on physical therapy, and volunteering. I've said no to plenty of opportunities that didn't align with my vision and life's purpose. Ask yourself, what activities or opportunities don't align with my current goals? Overall, finding your life's purpose can definitely be challenging, as there is no definitive and immediate answer. But the good news is that you are in charge of defining it for yourself, and it starts with asking and answering some of these questions and helping others with your skills and interests. After figuring all that out, you can hopefully have a better sense of direction on where to go in life. I also posted blog summaries of this, which you can check out in the description. Hope these tips were helpful for you, and let's all keep striving towards improvement. Thanks for watching.